Mary Lauterbach is staying strong, but she tells me the last two and a half weeks during her daughter's trial in North Carolina were extremely difficult. Sitting in her attorney's office in downtown Dayton, Mary Lauterbach is happy to be home and relieved to have Cesar Lorian's murder trial behind her. I do feel that the justice has been served. I, you know, there's just a sadness to me. A parent can't let go of the fact that my daughter will never be back. That's a very hard thing to accept. Last week, after less than three hours of deliberation, a North Carolina jury found Cesar Lorian guilty of murdering fellow Marine Maria Lauterbach in December 2007. Maria's body was found burned and buried in Lorian's backyard a month after she was reported missing. She was eight months pregnant at the time of her death. And there were very graphic pictures that were you know, put up on a big screen about her being exhumed from that fire pit. Um, the baby's hand, it, it was horrible. You, know, you could see the baby's body there. Um, and then I think the hardest for me were the garage pictures and how horrific the actual crime scene was. It was far worse than I had expected. It was important for me to see all those pictures because, you know, I was always looking towards the door and dreaming of her, you know, walking in the door. And in seeing some of those pictures, I realize, you know, I really believe in my heart now. She's not coming back. And that's understandably difficult for Mary, especially with so many unanswered questions. She says during the two-week-long trial, she expected to learn exactly what led up to Maria's death, but instead feels she is no closer to the answers she so desperately wants to hear. What happened is very clear. Just the hows and whys are very, I don't know that we'll ever know that. The Lauterbach family attorney here in Dayton says he expects Lorian, who is serving life in prison, to file an appeal. He also expects the district attorney's office to release more information on evidence that was not heard in court in the coming days. Stay with Two News on air and at WDTN.com. We'll keep you posted on any developments in the case. Reporting live, Megan O'Rourke, Two News on your side.